Don't bore us, bring the chorus. Nice. <laughs> That's it, that's what it does. Beautiful. <laughs> Hi, my name's Phil. I'm JJ. Welcome to the Distorted Drumbeat Show. We are back for another episode in Pedal Funland um, with uh, Dancing JJ. Nice. Please, no, I like that. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> um, and we have another pedal in the uh, guitar case of truth. We certainly do. I believe. Let's get it on. Oh, oh, chorus. Nice. As they say, don't bore us, give us some chorus. Yes. <laughs> I do like a nice chorus. I have always been a little bit confused about what chorus pedals do, so this would be very educational for me. Okay, let's hope I can, <laughs> hope I can help. No, no pressure. What it does. Um, so yes, yeah, so so chorus. A so, what? Why do you think it's got the name chorus? Do you, Do you know what it does? Well, so up until recently, no, but uh, <laughs> I can't remember the exact situation, but um, it might be in one of the tunes that me and you were making, I can't remember, but uh, it's basically put in, is, is it put in like a, a harmonic level on what you're playing? Ish. Ish, ish, yeah, ish. Of a fashion. So, so the reason it's called chorus is that when it was first invented, because it can be used for anything, right? You can use it for drums, voices. Yeah. Uh, it was designed, or <clears throat> it was used originally to take a voice and make it sound like a choir, to make it sound like a chorus. Okay. So that's why it's got the name ah, chorus. Ah, right. Okay. So officially, it's a doubler. Doubler. So it takes your sound and then repeats it. So it right. fattens up your tone, makes okay. it larger, right. which you know is really useful for a guitar player, to so if you're a single sure, guitar yeah. player, to one out. Now, you've got different ways of sort of doubling tone. You've got loads of pedals that will double yeah the chorus is the most classic and if you just got two things coming out that are exactly the same yeah then you're not going to hear a difference right it's just going to be louder right so what chorus does is it it takes that second one and it slightly detunes it oh yes okay and makes yeah. it a bit That's what later yeah. it makes it go a bit a bit wibbly yeah. and then that gives you that gives you the separation yeah. and makes it feel this big, big fat tone. Nice. That's a technical musical term. That is wibbly. <laughs> wibbly. Nice. Well, I think I think that's a way to describe it because really, no, it it, totally. it is detuned. It's yeah. it's something. It's imperfect yeah. and, and a little you, bit. You've got like one bit that's correct. Yeah. And one bit that's and then yeah. that that gives you it kind of humanizes it. Yeah. Because if you just repeat it exactly the same, it's just going to be it's louder. So yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It humanizes it. And I do it. like the yellow color. I don't know if that's the effect. We, we spoke recently we about We did. They all the seem, <laughs> I have a theory that they've all got their colour. And I don't know if this is true, but Chorus seems to be yellow. Well, I think so. that this is based on the 1980, I think, Boss uh, Super Chorus, right. uh, which is blue. Well, so, uh, that was my <laughs> I'm afraid that's going to happen. But this is, this is a cheap Behringer pedal, so it's the Ultra Chorus UC200. There is a you see 100, which is mono in, mono out, but you see this is mono in, stereo out, yes. which is pretty good for a cheap pedal. Mm. Um, it's got the same controls as most of these ones do, so level, which is just kind of volume, yeah. um, tone, which is kind of tone, yeah. and then the rate, the rate of the sort of modulation that's applied to the signal. The w rate of wibbliness. The rate of wibbliness, and the depth is the extent of wibbliness. So right. How uh, wibbly breadth, it is. Breadth and, and depth. Yeah, yeah. Breadth and depth. X and Y axis. <laughs> X and Y, exactly. Yeah. And that's it. Cool. Um, Let's plug it in. Yeah. Don't bore us, bring the chorus. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're back. Cool. We're, we've plugged in. We have the Behringer uh, Ultra Chorus UC200. Um, we'll go for the guitar first. Do you want to twiddle the twaddles while I. Uh... Yes. So tonight I'm using my. Um, tonight, Matthew. My guitar, <laughs> Matthew. 
I'll be mostly using my Gretsch uh, Black <laughs> Falcon. Um, it's uh, 92, made in Japan. Um, we're running directly into an ABY splitter, so we can both use the same, the same setup. Then from that, into a volume pedal, and straight into the Black Star Amp 2. In case for when inevitably, inevitably Phil wants it reverb and delay. Yes. And then that goes into a Marshall cab in the room. Beautiful. Okay, right. so this is my clean tone. Please. Okay. Very good. Don't Boris chorus. Start with everything at 12 o'clock. Yeah, the warbling. Turn up a little bit. Right. Again on ten pass. I mean, it works best for the sort of chords. I don't think it works great for uh, you know individual notes. So sort of jingly, jingly jangly chords. That's the level all the way up. The level should just be volume. Uh, okay. The uh, rate and depth all the way up. Yeah. Right, that's rate and depth all the way up, Max. Okay, keep your hand that way. Cool. Oh dear. <laughs> so that's the. Oh no, look, leave that on. The wibbly wobbly. Extreme, <laughs> extreme <laughs> You need a wangy bell when you call yeah. it. Cheap chorus pedal. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, It does. Beautiful. It's easy, huh? Beautiful. Okay, so, um, I mean, I think this is one of, you know, we're going through, we're kind of mixing up here, you know, we've done some really basic stuff, we've done fuzz, we've done wah-wah. Yeah. We've done some more exotic things like chaos bad yeah. and synths. Yes. Um, but this is, you know, one of the ones that's got to be done. The chorus basics. pedal is essential, you know. Um, every guitarist should have a chorus pedal. Should every trumpeter have a chorus pedal? I'm not a massive fan of chorus. Usually on my uh, tunes, and I haven't got one on my pedal board at the minute. Tonight might be the uh, the thing which changes my mind on it, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. We right. Shall see. Okay. okay. So surprisingly, just for a change, I'm playing through the uh, black plastic P trumpet high tech. Uh, which I absolutely love, and it's the reason why I play it all the time. I am not one of these trumpet players who alternates and has a different trumpet for every day of the week. I have got several trumpets, but I just play this because it's amazing. Um, and I'm not sponsored by P Trumpet, I just like it. And I've taken the valve caps off my cannonball, which oh, is yeah. this one. So those, those valve caps there, which you probably can't see, um, are silver and not very good. And these are amazing because they've got little inlays and they're a lot more better. Um, for trumpet players watching, my mouthpiece is a Dennis Wick Heavy Top 3. Just because I love the feel and the tone and the range I can get with it. And I am using the Yamaha Silent Brass with... Um, and and it, it's got a condenser mic inside it and it goes through this little preamp straight into the old uh, gizmos down there and all of that all that jazz all that guitar stuff <laughs> yeah. all right right give us your clean tone to full full <laughs> wibbly full wibbly <laughs> Seems 
try the rate up and the depth at half. That one's quite good, actually. That's nice. I mean, for me, it, it just, again, like, like with the guitar, I just... Yeah. I don't know if thickens is the right word. It just it, it sounds like an ensemble. It sounds yeah. like a chorus of a bit of what, 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 a bit what, more depth. What do you call a a, a, a chorus? A collection, a collection of, of trumpet players. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. Too polite. Yeah, yeah it's a family show. <laughs> yeah. um, could we have some reverb, please, uh, DJ? Yes. Reverb is there. <laughs> Does sound like you've got like that. a couple of uh, a couple of friends, a couple of a couple of trumpet trumpy friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try with some delay, if you insist. I insist. It does something, right? It does something, yeah, I like that. I want to try something might be a bit silly. Can we try double double chorus? Absolutely. <laughs> right, give me give me a clean. One chorus. Two chorus. It's a winner. I don't know if I would have it on my board, but I think I would definitely use, like, if we were making a tune, mm. I can definitely see a, a time when having that sound on my trumpet would be. So when I was doing my board, mm. uh, I was choosing between one of these and a flanger, right. flanger, a flanger, a flanger, yes, <laughs> and I chose the uh, flanger. Because I, I just prefer the sound of a flanger over a chorus. However, I think this has definitely got its it place. It does a different thing. It does a completely different it thing. Does. So a, a flanger is a is a modulator. So it just modulates the signal. Yes. And the chorus, <laughs> the chorus is a, is a doubler. Yes. Right? So yeah, it's it does something different. There you have it. So it's funny you're talking about your board because my board, which you may have seen a week or so ago. Yeah. Um, at the time, I had the Boss SY two hundred that was providing my you did um, bass and chorus needs, and yes. I've changed it. And this is now on my <laughs> gigging board. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> yeah. I just decided, and also it takes up less space than the S than the SY two hundred. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, and that allowed me to put that on, and the. Um, the falling star delay that we all oh, right yes so now both the nice. the delay pedal that we tested a few weeks ago and this one are on my gig, ah. gigging board so it's changed a lot since nice <laughs> since we did it influenced by the show in real life <laughs> it really was well you bought the the reverb pedal right I did the reverb pedal is on my uh, the reverb pedal that we used in uh, last week's episode with the uh, what did we do last week the random tone generator random tone generator, generator. The random tone generator, the mini universe that we use with that, which was off episode something or other, 
Uh, yeah, that's on my board, yeah. which you will have seen in my state of the board. So, yeah, this this show is proving definitely useful in terms of finding <laughs> things and, and slotting them into our yeah our daily use. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Good. I yeah. like it. Of course. Done. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Another episode. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Do you like the chorus? Would you, you use it? Guitar? Would you trumpet? use two choruses together? Plural chorus? This this chorus isn't great, I will say. On on no. it, it's okay. It's 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 a very subtle chorus. Right. So you couldn't really hear it. I didn't really hear much of a difference. But yeah, the double chorus. Was <laughs> double chorus. <laughs> right. Thanks okay. a lot. See you next week. Bye-bye.